Welcome to NIASO. Today we're going to share some information about something that people on the continent or even other parts of the diaspora may not be aware of. This just recently came to my attention um, and it is about America. So again, in NIASO and study in Africa, want to use these platforms to promote and encourage people to study on the continent. Their place is called Sundown Towns. Now, what's a Sundown Town? So I've just gone here and I type Sundown Town and let me show you what is going on in America. And these places have been going on for a while. So as we send our young people from the continent or people look forward to going to go study in America, America is not what it is advertised to be or what we think it is when we're in Africa. So Sundown Town, also known as Sunset Town, this is Wikipedia, Grey Town, Sundown Town, to all white municipalities or neighborhood in the United States that practice a form of racial segregation by excluding non-whites with some combination of discriminatory law, intimidation, or violence. So when they say discriminatory local laws, intimidation, or violence, they really mean that. So these towns, um, they were described as inhos inhospitable until the early 1960s. 1960s wasn't that long ago. So if you look here, the earliest, this goes back from 1714. So all of these things, everything to do with the diaspora goes back to when people were taken to the US and how they were treated. And up until now, all the discrimination we see always has to go back to how people are treated and how then they went, there was abolishment of um, slavery, they introduced Jim Crow laws and other segregationist practices, it's all here. And you can find out more about the history and they banned African-Americans from towns. But nowadays, there are still some of these towns that exist. And as America, it's um, going through its, what I would call hard times to come. Um, and you can see here, they say sundown towns are still a problem for black drivers. That was June 2020, June 22, 2021. Look at this one. This says uncovering the distribution of sundown towns. Now, I don't know if this is true, so please do not come for us. We're just here to promote information so that if you are on the continent and you're thinking of going to study somewhere, you should think of somewhere else on the continent. But if you are thinking of going to the US, don't look at the US through um, those tinted glasses. So they have this site, it's called mapbox.com. I've never been on the site before, so I don't know. Um, but they are, and they're showing, don't know, they just have a thing where they say sundown town. Don't know is the light gray, possible is a pink, probable is kind of like slightly red, surely it's darker red. And then he goes out, and if you look at it, you can just see there's a cluster right there. It's, it's dotted all over the map, literally it's dotted all over the map. So please do your research because you would not want to apply and go to university or college or get a job in an area where you didn't realize this is what was going on. I mean, look at this map, it just looks terrible. Because as I say, these are towns with discriminatory laws and occasionally sometimes people would be faced with violence as well. So if you're happily sitting on the continent and your parents or you are saving every penny you can and you're thinking, I'm going to go to America, I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be rich. Just remember, there are parts of America where people that look like you and people that look like me are not welcome and will face violence. And increasingly with their um, rules and laws, this is something that parents should consider. And of course, as always, your first choice, me or you may want to look back on the continent to study in Africa. So if you find this useful, please do some more research. If you know someone who's going to America, um, just point them to do research for the area that they're going to, to be aware of sundown towns and um, these discriminatory and violent practices have not gone away. Okay, so until then, there's plenty of material on the internet. It's endless. Be informed. Okay, take care. Till next time. Bye.